are at Shelby Hospital Ahmedabad and I I have with me Dr. Abhishek Jain. Dr. Jain is a senior cancer surgeon with an experience of 13 years. He specializes into minimally invasive lung cancer surgery and breast cancer surgeries. Dr. Jain has had special training from USA, UK and China into minimally invasive as well as other surgeries. Uh, and he has performed more than 3000 surgeries in his career. I must also mention that he is one of the very few surgeons in India who has mastered the technique of unipotent bed surgery which is a unique minimally invasive cancer surgery. Today we speak to him about this technique as well as about breast cancer surgeries. Sir, uh, please tell us about what are the different types of lung cancer surgeries. Okay. So, uh those patients who present at a very early stage uh, for lung cancer for example stage 1 or stage 2 they are the ideal candidates for upfront surgery those patients who present at stage 3 or stage 4 so they may not be the ideal candidates for upfront surgery and they are usually treated by chemotherapy or radiation therapy so for those patients who have presented very early uh, stage for lung cancer surgery is the first and the foremost treatment option for lung cancers there are mainly uh, not just for lung cancers for any cancers in the body those who are candidates for surgery there are basically two techniques for uh, surgeries one is open uh, technique and the other is minimally invasive in which you put a very small incision as much small as possible incisions in the body and you try to remove that tumor from that small incision only so that is called minimally invasive uh, surgery so for lung cancer also there are open categories of surgeries which is called a thoracotomy and there are minimally invasive techniques which are called vats lung surgery or uniportal vats lung surgery so please tell us about uniportal vats what is uniportal what yeah. does that stand what is uniportal right. what is vats if you can explain right. for so so as i just mentioned uh, vats or uniportal vats lung surgeries are a type of minimally invasive lung cancer surgeries they they uh, came into existence around two decades ago when surgeons started doing uh, vats lung surgeries in which they used to put a small 4 cm incision in the uh, chest region and other than that they used to put small 1 cm extra 3 to 4 incisions in the uh, uh, body to remove the cancer this was called conventional or traditional vats lung surgery the full form of vats is video assisted thoracoscopic surgeries so uh, instead of conventional vats from last 10 year or so the surgeons have gradually shifted to a uniportal vats lung surgeries which is a type of surgery wherein you put only a 4 cm to 5 cm incision in the body other than uh, uh, as compared to the conventional vats where you put other incisions also so this uniportal vats lung surgery it is done by using only a 4 to 5 cm incision in the body and uh, thus that's why it is called uniportal because we utilize only a single uni incision in the body Oh, that's great, sir. Can you tell us about what are the special advantages of this type of surgery? Yeah. So, uniportal vats surgery, it is a, it is really a boon for uh, lung cancer patients. It has various advantages as compared to open surgeries or thoracotomies for lung cancers. The main advantages are the small size of the incision. Because of the small size, the patients have faster recovery and very less pain after surgery. And since they have very less pain. they are uh, able to do chest physiotherapies and because of uh, regular exercises after surgery they are discharged earlier and thus they have a very excellent and very faster recovery as compared to open lung surgeries where you put around 15 to 20 cm size incision so in that way they are very beneficial for the patient recovery so overall. the difference is you are saying 4 to 5 cm yes. so uniportal yes 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 for uniportal we put only 4 to 5 cm incision but for uh, thoracotomies or open lung cancer surgery you put around uh, this much long 15 to 20 cm incision so I'm that sure. is a major advantage in terms and major advancement in terms of uh, lung cancer surgery for unipotal absolutely it is, it is a boon for the patients the patients uh, after 2 days uh, the patient don't even feel that they have been operated upon oh. they they do regular uh, exercises of the chest they do re- regular physiotherapies they are able to walk along with their chest tubes and around 4th 3rd or 4th day i am able to discharge my patients because of that oh very nice and who is an ideal candidate for yeah. unipotal yeah so that is an excellent question uh, ketan bhai Uh, so as i mentioned uh, we utilize only 4 to 5 cm incision for uniportal vats lung surgeries 
so for for such surgery to perform the size of the tumor has to be obviously limited to 5 to 6 cm only otherwise you won't be able to remove the tumor out of that in small incision so the ideal candidates for such surgeries are the patients who have a lung cancer which are limited to around 5 to 6 cm in size only and such 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 patients they present at stage 1 or stage 2 So, in general speaking, stage one and stage two cancers of the lung, which have presented in size around five to six centimeter, they are the ideal candidates for uniportal vats lung surgery. So, you are saying that a lung cancer patient who has uh, less than or equal to four five centimeters yes, of tumor absolutely. is an ideal absolutely. candidate. Yes, for, absolutely. For this absolutely. Kind of, for this kind of surgery. Okay. And sir, uh, this you mentioned that it is a video assisted. If you can just explain for yeah. layman, you know, I mean, how right. I mean, so right. you actually use the video visuals, etc. Yes, to, yes. So, so uh, as you all must be knowing, uh, there is a laparoscopy system uh, which is already in existence from last so many years, which is used for abdominal surgeries. So the same laparoscopy system or a video assisted video system camera system is used for doing uh, such uniportal vats lung surgeries. from that small incision we insert our instruments and the camera system and the surgeon performs the surgeries by doing at the monitor oh. and in uh, our case in shalbi hospitals we do uh, such surgeries using a 3d camera system we wear 3d goggles and then we see everything on the monitor in a 3d way the way you similarly in the way you see 3d movies on the uh, movie halls So in that way we perform this uniportal 3D vats lung surgeries. The main advantages of this 3D system is that the surgeon is better. I am better able to see all the important structures in the body, and thus this decreases the chances of complications and injury to the major blood vessels, and the chances of bleeding are drastically decreased by using this 3D system. So it makes the surgery more accurate. Yes, more accurate, more more complication free, and thus I am able to perform it in a faster way and. were very uh, less uh, complicated way so you you also mentioned that besides the lung cancer surgeries you also uh, do breast cancer surgeries yes please tell yes. us i mean, about something about breast uh, preservation surgery yes. is is what people yes. have heard what yes. what is it? so so many years ago uh, if uh, i have to say two three decades ago uh, almost every breast cancer patient whether it is a 1 cm in size or a 5 to 6 cm size tumor the surgeons used to remove the entire breast for the any breast cancer patient which used to present to them but from last uh, two decades breast conservation surgeries have uh, come into vogue breast conservation surgeries are surgeries wherein you try to remove the tumor by following the same oncological principles and you preserve the entire aesthetics or the shape of the breast and these are called breast conservation surgery wherein you present uh, you conserve the entire breast of the patient but you also remove the tumor from the body so these are called breast conservation surgeries so breast cancer is you know one of the most common cancer so i mean any any advice to uh, the men about how you can detect or screen it or something right so uh, normally uh, breast cancer screening programs are already established in our country and mammography is the uh, technique which is most commonly used for uh, breast cancer screening and detecting uh, or catching breast in a very early stage when it is still curable so mammography ideally it is indicated after uh, 40 years of age every one and half uh, to two years a woman has to undergo a mammographic screening test to detect tumors in a very early stage so uh, the two tumors which are detected by using a screening mammogram they are generally in a very early stage and they are ideally uh, caught in a very uh, small size when they are just 1 to 2 cm or maybe 5 mm in size so mammography is a way where you can uh, detect tumors diagnose tumors in a very early stage and those patients are the patients which are elig eligible for breast conservation surgeries so the main main criteria for do a breast conservation surgery is that the patient has to be diagnosed in a very early stage when the tumor is still very small in size preferably less than 4 to 5 cm same as lung cancers and sir any specific women who are more at risk of uh, having breast cancer I mean, if, if someone has it in the family are the chances increases yes absolutely Uh, so in our literature it is generally said that around 10 to 15% of the breast cancers which present they are hereditary uh, in cause hereditary means uh, their family members might have been affected and they are at a increased risk of developing breast cancer 
either their mother or their sister they 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 might have been detected with breast cancer or ovarian cancers and thus they are at a risk two to three times more risk as compared to normal women for a breast cancer so 10 to 15 percent of the patients they are at a high risk for hereditary breast cancers sir as a doctor who has been treating cancer patients for over a decade hmm. uh, what would be your message to people who because you know people right. when they are diagnosed with uh, any type of cancer they are very very scared so what right. would you tell them right right so uh, the first and foremost thing which i would like to convey to all of our audiences is that the cancer is not a death sentence to all uh, once you are diagnosed with a cancer it does not mean that you are not going to survive you are not going to be cured the first and most important thing is just to go to your nearest cancer surgeon or cancer specialist and get yourself uh, investigated thoroughly for that cancer and the second important thing is that there are particular screening programs for various cancers like breast cancer and lung cancer for breast cancer as i already mentioned after 40 years every female must undergo a screening mammography every 1 and 1/2 to 2 years so that they can detect tumors in a very early stage when they are still curable for lung similarly for lung cancers all the uh, uh, people who are chronic smokers from last 15 to 20 years and who are between 50 and 80 years of age they are the candidates for lung cancer screening through ct scan so i would just request uh, all of them to get themselves screened for breast cancers and lung cancers on a regular interval and uh, if you are at a risk of developing breast cancer by doing screening you will be detected or diagnosed at a very early stage when you are still curable okay so thank you very much for speaking to thank us thank you thank you so much